Hey everybody, welcome back. We are into week five, lesson two. We're gonna get started with a question. Suppose a furniture store has 30 dining room chairs in stock. The chairs are sold in sets of six. How many sets does the furniture store have? What are we trying to find out? How many chairs are there? How many in each set? So we know that there's 30 chairs. How many are in each set? Six. So I'm going to, I'm going to write that down up here. So we have 30 chairs. And there's six in each set. What number multiplied by six equals 30? Well, notice that 30 ends in a zero, so that should be a clue. So what number multiplied by six equals 30? It's five. So if five times six equals 30, that means we know the answer to our division problem. 30 divided by six equals five. Or how many, um, how many, how many sets of chairs are there? There's going to be five sets. 30 total chairs, they're gonna be put into sets of six. So how many total sets are there? There's gonna be five total sets. So 30 divided by six equals five. Take a look down here. I'm going to show further how the multiplication problems are related to the division problems. So if you can do the one, you can do the other. On the left, we have a multiplication sense. And then over here, we have a question involving a division problem using the same numbers. So if we have four times two equals eight, what is eight divided by four? Use your fingers and show me how many. What's the answer? If four times two equals eight, what is eight divided by four? Eight, eight, four, four. What's missing? The two. And if you ask yourself, four times what number equals eight, the answer would be two. Two times three equals six. So what is six divided by two? Show me with your fingers. Three. If two times three equals six, six divided by two must be three because this number and this number they have to multiply together to get that number. So two times three equals six. Three times five equals 15. What is 15 divided by three? Show me with your fingers. What's the answer? The answer is five. 15 divided by three equals five or five times three equals 15. Going into the workbook. Oops. We are on page 56, lesson two, key idea. You can make a model to help you find how many groups of each. A factory has 20 pencils, and the boxes hold five pencils each, how many boxes will they need? Well, we're going to go through what we know. They say take 20 counters, we can do it with these pictures. 20 counters, place them in groups of five. So we went one, two, three, four, five, there's a group, one, two, three, four, five, there's a group, one, two, three, four, five, there's a group, one, two, three, four, five, there's a group. If we added them all up, there was 20. So how many, were the, how many um, boxes will there be? answer that question, how many boxes will they need? They're going to need a total of four boxes. That represents a box, represents a box, each of them containing five pencils. 
four boxes of pencils. Try this, answer each question below to solve the problem. Kyle's mom bought 21 pretzels and divided them equally into bags. Within each of the bags are three pretzels. How many bags were there? What is the problem asking? Go to that last sentence. Each bag contains three pretzels. How many bags were there? So what is the problem asking? How many bags? many bags are there? And we have to think about what we have. We have 21 pretzels. Within each of these bags, there's going to be three pretzels. So let's start showing that with circles. One, two, three. That's a bag. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Each of these is a bag of three. So how many total bags of pretzels are there? Let's count them up. One bag, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many bags of pretzels are there? Seven bags of pretzels. Next page. Practice. Solve each problem below using counters or drawing circles. Um, I'm going to leave this to you. I'm going, I'll, I will read them, but I'm going to leave it to you to solve it. Greg spent 24 hours total practicing the piano. If he spends three hours per day practicing, how many days will he practice? What's the problem asking? How many circles should you draw? How many groups are there? What do you do? You do it, okay? You do all the work here. Same with number five. This is Chen paid Tai $18, uh, Tai or Tia, I think that's Tia, for feeding her cat. If Tia was paid $3 per day, how many days did it? Uh, she feed Mrs. Chen's cat. You see the information you have. So all your circles. Get your answer. Number six, Marilyn planted a vegetable garden that has 36 plants. If there are nine plants in each row, how many rows are there? Same deal. Use your pictures, draw it out, figure it out. The reflex says in problem four, suppose Greg spent a total of 30 hours practicing. How many days did he practice? How would making a model uh, of this help you answer the question? So you're gonna go back up to number four and you'll change that 24 to 30. Still spends three hours a day practicing. There's your new problem. How can you draw that out to answer the problem? When you're done with all those problems, move on to the practice page. Again, same as what we were practicing on the student book. I'll read the problems, you solve them. One, the soccer team spent 21 hours practicing. If they spent three hours a day practicing, how many days did they practice? Very similar to that Greg problem we were just looking at. We have 21 total hours, dividing that amongst three hours a day, that'll get you how many days did they practice. I'm gonna draw my three circles. I'll put in 21 dashes. Remember, they get an equal share. So do one, two, three, count your way up to 21 to get your answer. Two, the average high temperature has risen 24 degrees. If the temperature increased eight degrees each week, how many weeks has it been increasing? You have the total amount it's increased, how much it's gone by each week, how many weeks have gone by to go to 24. So how many groups of eight? to get to 24. Three, Mariana is planting tulips in her flower beds so that she'll have a beautiful garden next spring. She has 32 tulip bulbs to plant. If there are eight tulips planted in each flower bed, how many flower beds are there? And number four, 
The kitchen staff has baked 36 chocolate chip cookies for lunch today. All right. The cookies need to be put in the plastic snack bags with two cookies in each bag. How many bags of cookies will there be? And there you go. Um, that's all the work for uh, today. Um, if you didn't finish yesterday's activity, it was the one where uh, it was a bunch of different stories and you were supposed to find out how many groups are in each story. Um, if you didn't finish that yesterday, you can finish that today. Um, but get all the rest of this done and then I'll see you tomorrow for lesson three. Bye-bye.